to uh, we're going to take the body and move it since it's supposed to rain today. It's supposed to be some thunderstorm, so I'm going to take the body because parts of it's still curing, and we're going to move it over here to cure, and then we're going to take all the rest of the body parts and put them in the tent uh, to finish the paint on that. And uh, because the frame can be outside and can be in the rain, and I'm not really worried about that, so we're going to get it outside now. Oh my God. Can you imagine? I got it done. Oh, that's good. the whole booth to do whatever we want. Do you want me to speak? A little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of break dancing. A little break dancing? You want to break dance? <laughs> Ready for the doors, tailgate, grill, and fenders, and the tire carrier. That was a rough night. So, man, I was up till all hours of the night clearing this stuff um, and had problem after problem after problem with the paint gun. <clears throat> paint gun would not play, wouldn't play. Uh, we had clogged pores on the bottom, clogged pores on the top. I'm sure, it's just that I'm not cleaning it correctly. But it seems like every time I clear something and then I go to repaint, um, I have problems, so um, I've tried cleaning it ten different ways. Um, finally, get it to work, but uh, but it causes problems. Here are the problems that I had with uh, with the accessories. Uh, when I didn't notice that part of the gun was clogged because the paint pattern looked good on the test sheet, um, and after I got done painting the doors, I realized that because I'm shooting metallic, there were heavy metallic lines striped into the door. So in the middle of having a full pot of paint, uh, pulled it off, cleaned the gun, put it back together, 
test looked good, went to do it again, same thing. Pulled apart the gun, cleaned it, test looked fine, decided to go, so I was shooting in this direction, decided to shoot in this direction, uh, 90 degrees, thinking maybe I can uh, kind of dilute that out a little bit. Same thing, only now they're horizontal. So now I have a checkerboarded door. So switched guns, recleaned the tip, and shot it again, but this time I went really high off the, the panel. I was, I was probably, uh, and I didn't film this because the camera had died, and at that point I was like super frustrated. Uh, went super high on the panel to try to dilute the, the pattern a little bit, and uh, it seems to have worked. I'm gonna pull it out in the sun today. Everything is, is dry to the touch, so I'm gonna pull out in the sun today and check it and see. Uh, not to mention that this guy right here fell twice during clear. So the first time it fell, uh, I was painting uh, the fender and it fell, and I somewhat caught it after it hit. And it wasn't too bad, so I hung it back up again. And I, I was just gonna clear over it again, because it looks like it was just the clear that got damaged. And then as I turned around, it fell again. So I stopped at that point. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna sand this thing totally down and repaint it again. Uh, but, uh, but I'm, I'm done with the accessories other than this and, and a little bit of the hood, uh, which I, I'm not gonna film. I don't care about those two things. I just wanna get it done. Uh, but this is this is what it looks like I had a party in here all last night because it looks crazy So this is what my workbench looks like after a night of painting just a complete disaster and Everything is just crazy. So now I'm just gonna now that these things are cleared and uh, they look fantastic Or at least I think they do we'll get them up in the sun to see uh, I'm gonna pull all of them off and I'm going to actually start hanging sheet metal right now, primarily just to uh, save space. And then um, I'm, I'm not going to bolt everything up like perfect. I'm just going to get it on the truck, uh, put the hinges on the door, get the doors up, just so that I can uh, clear some room out. <laughs> and then finally the hood hood turned out I can see just a little bit of a ding right there that I may have missed, but outside of that, not bad at all. So we'll get it out in the sun here in just a minute. First shot of the color in the sun. That is stunning. Let's see if we can get a better shot here. Now that we've got it out in the sun, uh, most of it is is uh, good enough. So we have some areas where the clear dripped, which is gonna be a big deal because we can sand that out. And then some areas where uh, overspray uh, got on it and it's a little bit rough. Uh, so we'll sand that out as well. Uh, the biggest difference and the thing that I was worried about was we had to buy two gallons of paint um, and we bought them about eight months apart from one another. And I don't know if it was if because I had to spray this door in both directions in order to get it to be even and, 
and it is even there's no streaking in it whatsoever um, I don't know if it was because of the amount of paint I had to put on it or if the paint was different but there is a slight difference between these two panels it's not enough for that I'm gonna worry about it um, and uh, you can definitely tell when you get to the top here that the, the that it blends in really well it's more down here in the corner that I see a little bit of a difference and this quarter seems to me to be just a slight bit darker than this panel right here almost a little bit more black but again it, it with the way the Sun hits it and the shadows on it it's going to be almost impossible to tell um, especially once I get it sanded down and and, uh, and polished so uh, overall and there's there's a couple of little spots that I missed some tape and here, let me show you so I don't know if you can see that or not but so I had that tape from when I was doing the undercoating and I forgot to pull the tape off and um, so I'm gonna have to touch that up there's a little bit of a clear um, drip right in here but I can sand that down and I think that'll come out just fine so overall the uh, quality of the paint exceeded my expectations when you get really close to it and this is before we actually sand it out uh, the the depth in the flake in this is pretty unbelievable there's actually magenta flake in here and gold flake and a little bit of brown flake that I can see um, and when you get really close to it in the areas where the clear is real super nice um, it pops uh, my my skill on this uh, did not exceed my expectations there were a lot of errors on my part and uh, towards the end I somewhat hurried it a little to try to get it done uh, but I'm still very happy with the outcome and uh, I know that the next paint job which is going to be the uh, Bronco to be named later um, which is going to be spring of next year I might even try to paint it in the winter because I've been wanting to try to paint in the winter with the heater and stuff installed um, is going to be different I don't know that we're going to do metallic on that uh, so it might be a little bit easier actually uh, than this one but I know I'm going to be better on that one just for doing this one let's go look at the chassis real quick So I've got some cleanup to do. Still have some rust from when we brought it home. So I'm gonna get the rust off and then reapply some epoxy black onto this as well to touch up the frame. Because the frame still has, you know, duct tape marks and scratches, things like that. Um, but <clears throat> Matt rebuilt the nine and he rebuilt the Dana. So uh, those are done. So now we just need to re rebuild the transfer case Disc brakes are done in the front Disc brakes are done in the rear So the only thing left to do now is powertrain. So we're gonna we're gonna do the powertrain now and uh, So that's gonna be season four is powertrain powertrain get the chassis done um, and I'm gonna jump on that. I'm actually on vacation now. So I'm gonna start uh, now in, in order the parts get everything in process and, and so season four will start this week plus I also bought some other projects and uh, you know just gonna have a little bit of fun I can't keep doing the same thing over and over again because it drives me crazy that's a wrap for my point three garage and I will see you in season four and just to make it official I have to uh, I have to don the Bronco badge on there